Monterey, the richest little town south of San Francisco. Hey there, where on earth are you thinking of going? Just answer me that, will you? Richest little town south of San Francisco. Well, I got another idea, stranger. You ain't going nowhere without paying your fare. I got another idea. Huh. Where'd he go? It is I. Oh, Wang. I know it is late. Wang. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> oh, stay like that. No, hardly at all. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know I'd suffer anything for you. Oh, Wang. Tea, little father. Oh, no, thank you. I must say, I'd like some after all that tattooing. What's written on my rear? Hmm? Message for friend. the others, you made the same tattoo on their backside too, and I'm jealous. The Italian girls speak with mouth, not with heart.
Hey! That might say it. Stay back. What's going on? Where are you going? But I am Mr. Wang. I said stay where you are. What are you doing? That's a professional secret. My say! Ah! Wang, what is this? These pictures and a cookie. Hey. Wang? Uh, welcome to Monterey. The hanging town. This is gonna cost you your neck. And what have you done with Wang's fortune, you? What fortune? If you ever had one, I guess it's hidden somewhere else. You better ask his heirs. Wang Ho Kiang. Wang Ho Kiang. The spirits of your ancestors bless you. We are proud to accept you among us as a new teacher of the noble and sacred art of Kung Fu. for Wang Ho Kiang. On orders of the warlord. I am he. What do you want? Your uncle in America is dead, and much money he had has disappeared. You and your family are to be questioned. I will come when sacred ceremony is over. Take him! This is sacrilege. He must be brought to trial. Then the boy will come with you. One shows strength of character in obeying one's superiors. Go and remember only in self-defense or vengeance. I will do my duty. Traders, the gold which I entrusted to your brother Wang 
to invest in the new land of America has disappeared. If you know anything, speak or you will die. Speak! Oh, husband. We know nothing. I will take vengeance on your daughter. No! No! Help me! Brother, help me! Guards, the girl is yours. Take her away. young man, but the art of Kung Fu cannot save your life. You are my prisoner. I was tricked by your uncle. Unwisely, I entrusted him with a vast fortune. And all he did to repay me before he died was to send me that wooden figure. The lives of all of you cannot repay the evil which Wang did. You think you are clever. I will pit you against the best I have. So let's see what you can do. Honor is at stake, yours and mine. intelligent. And I think you can be useful in recovering my fortune. Sire, I am only too willing to do whatever I can. Then I will give you the chance. Find my gold in one year, or all of you will get... <laughs> that seems to work pretty good. Though I do uh, say so myself. Yeah, it looks all right to me. Maybe we'll finally have a vacant cell. This here the death cell? Nope. It's all you need in a town this size. They get all types in them from time to time. I don't know what we'd do if we had a gang of rustlers to put away. It'd be a tricky situation. That Dakota that's in there now never says a word. Dumb as a dead coyote. That's what it'll be tomorrow morning. The hanging set for 7 o'clock. <laughs> Formal in writing. He just left this. My dear friend, if you've come about the inheritance, I'm afraid you're due for a big disappointment. I don't understand. 
he brought fortune from China. I hear refer to him as very, very rich man in California. That's what most people believe. All he left in his bank account, however, is a mere thousand dollars. Plus this, which he kept in a very strange, complicated safety box. These pictures must have been very important to him, though I failed to see why. Who are these? It's written on their backsides. Backsides are the photographs, I mean to say. Now, I'm rarely wrong, and my guess is that the fellow who accidentally caused the death of your uncle and who broke into the safe had time to pass the loot to an accomplice. I understand. Are gallows outside for him to hang? That's right. After a trial which lasted some months, I decided he should die. If you like, I can arrange permission for you to speak to him. No. If he know who I am, he no tell me truth. I find way to make his acquaintance. seen a dog in here. Now, what's all this? Can't you read? Chinese, yes. English, Rita. It says no blacks are Chinese. We accept dogs accompanied. Oh, dog accompanied, mister. The dog's all right. It's you got to go fast. You hear me? Outside. Ringo, dead eye, come here. If I go, dog not accompanied. What dog drink in West, mister? Juice of stewed Chinese. Oh. <laughs> Thousand pardons. I no see you. William! Hey! Oh, I'm glad. started it. He came in with a dog and refused to leave. What's this? Well, Are you looking for trouble, kid? Go on. Beat it. You don't want me to arrest you. Oh, yes, I do, sir. Thank you. Oh, ah! oh. You ungrateful little... Leave me alone. You know where you're going. To prison? Yeah. So they're gonna hang me for finding four stupid pictures of naked women. Now you can understand why I told you to go to hell when you came in here. I don't seem to be having any luck with you Chinese. You mean you no kill Mr. Wang and no steal fortune? Fortune? What fortune? No, I didn't kill him. He ran into that damn explosion before I could stop him. He's speaking before he pass away? Mm, nothing. All I found were those four pictures and a cookie. Are they these? Yeah. <laughs> Stale at that. Well, what does it say? It say, at bottom of every woman is fortune. Huh. 
The old man's not too wrong at that. With bottoms like these, who could help but make a fortune? What means bottom? Bottom? Ass. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? You see, Mr. Wang, my uncle. Hey, young fella. Your lawyer has paid your fine for you. You're free to leave. I see you. Yeah, in hell. The sheriff, don't forget to wake me up early tomorrow. I got a date, remember? Make such a face. They've come to see you. What the hell do you want me to do? Sing a song? <laughs> All right, let's see. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cry. Don't give me rye whiskey, I surely will die. You sure picked yourself a swan song. Rye whiskey, rye whiskey, rye whiskey, I cried. If the ocean was whiskey and I was a duck. I dive to the bottom and never come up. Go! After him! Get away! A horse! A horse! There is gun inside us. Dakota, thief by profession, bum by choice. My name, Wang Ho Kiang, fighter by choice, traveler by necessity. Pleased to meet you, Wang Ho. Oh, me more pleased than you. Deal. Snake, much better. <laughs> what the 
hell's that? Chinese tea. I thought maybe the horses might have. They wouldn't happen to have anything stronger. Like liquor, maybe? Oh, yes. Chinese liquor. Made of what? Rice. Ladies drink, huh? <laughs> Not very strong. No travel very well. Trip on sea, spot. Oh, you're full of surprises. I haven't thanked you yet for saving my neck, but why the hell did you do it? I have to study you to see if you stole treasure of Honorable Uncle. Honorable Uncle of yours. One Honorable Knight. You see, I must travel. I not know this country. I need companion. Yeah. Well, I just suppose I said I did steal the money, but I don't want to go with you. Then what would you do? I kill you. Oh, really? You don't believe me? Try. Reach for gun. You're kidding. Go on. Try. Okay. But I promise not to hurt you. You're pretty good. You too. They say you stopped them from hanging you three months. Well, what else was I doing? What are your plans? To seek honorable uncles for mistresses. The ones in the pictures? Yeah. <laughs> good. You think your uncle told them something? Nobody tells secrets to ladies, but they know many things without being told. Found that out. It's Chinese philosophy. Philosophy? Well, I agreed to go with you. Where do we start? With American lady. She with man called Yancey Hobbit. Yancey Hobbit? You know him. Sure, he was thrown out of the army. He blew up an arsenal, destroyed 30 cannons, and killed 60 Confederates single-handed. Thrown out, but he hero. <laughs> it was six months after the war ended. Where he now? Last I heard, he was <laughs> preaching somewhere around Dusty City. Yancey Hobbit's coming to town. The preacher man is on his way. <laughs> Can't come in here, Deacon. You cannot keep out a man of God. It is written, the wicked shall rot in hell. I have warned you before, 
But you ignored me and brought scarlet women to this place to degrade you with their sin. <laughs> I mean what I say. I will wreak vengeance in the name of the Lord. The wages of sin is death. Thus for every living being, from man to animal, but seven times greater for the sinners. Ecclesiastes 40.11 I tell you, nice sociable fella. have trouble if I talk to him? Well, that depends. What do you want to say? You see, I want to see how... Uh, oh. Ass! Ass of his woman! His woman's what? What the hell? Ass! You know, brandish thing woman sit on. I know damn well what it is. You'd just be committing suicide. I want to see us. Now listen, friend. Those women back there will show you all the roundish bottoms you want for just a few dollars. Hmm. No. Well, don't depend on me. I think you're carrying this thing too far. Then please to forget percentage, I promise you. Ah. All right, wait a minute. What's your hurry? You must offer your suffering to redress your sins. I'm going to purify you. But you aren't heathen. To be illuminated, and you are the prophet. How shall beckon peoples unknown to thee? Isaiah 55, 5. Enter, stranger. Ah! <laughs> Don't do that. Put a hole in your head. Now, I may just have to blow up this whole town. That's Dakota. Nine one fifty six. My birthday. <laughs> she wear chastity belt. Chastity belt. That'd make a good crown for you. Don't worry about it, Hulk. Come here and keep this guy covered. All yours, huh? What a waste. Excuse me. What filth is he perpetrating? Just look. Oh, no, not another freak. Oh. Finish. I assure you, Mr. Hobbit, I mean no offense. My interest is purely scientific. I shall catch you, heathen son of a demon. For the mockers, let the stick be prepared. For the backs of the foolish, let fall the blows. 
Proverbs 28, 29. Ah! And one makes 30. <laughs> Want come with us, lady? He'd find me even at the end of the earth. <laughs> and kill me, I'm sure. I think it's best that I remain here. We go. Maybe bump on head make him think twice. Come on now, what'd you find? Only a small part of Chinese puzzle. What does that mean? Nothing without other messages. We have to put together with other asses. Three more? Ah! Which way, New Mexico? New Mexico? Uh, judging by the sun, I'd say south by south, southwest. Let's go. You harlot. You attract misfortune and bring shame upon my house. Who was that Chinese man? And what did he want with your nudity? Yancy, uh, I swear. I don't know. I've never seen him before. Maybe it's because of the mark I got. What mark, you bitch? Don't tell me you have been branded. That Chinese man, he tattooed us all on the wheel, on the backside. He used to joke and say we were all his treasure. Wang's treasure? Everyone's talking about that. A treasure, that's it. If I could only find it, I could build a real church. Ah. Ah. Oh, yes. Hold still, I want to copy it. Take him away. Step right up, folks. Who's next to fight with the great Classy K? Of course, only five dollars. The odds are 20 to one. One hundred dollars to five. Come on, try your luck with the great Classy K. One hundred dollars to your five. Who's next? Me. Accept his offer. What? Yeah, it's okay. If you say so. One moment. That'll be five dollars, friend. Get in there, fella. Do it. Oh, I'll take a check if you want, Mr. Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> I get ready. You got him wobbling. Give him a couple of right hooks and finish him off. $100. Well, if you just give me a minute, I was just going to the hotel to fetch it. You don't think I carry that much money on me, do you? You should have more manners. What you need is a good lesson. I want $100. 
Take him, men. Come on, get on. Wait, Fighting again, are you? Yes, sir, I was. How much for this time? Hundred dollars. Got a collector. There's much more to be gained. Let's go. better. You're not drinking, huh? Look, you got your uncle's message. What more do you want? It's just a part of message. Now we've got to find another ass, huh? That's why we're here? Russian mistress our Uncle Wang, now his wife of owner of this, uh, this... Uh... Joint. Ah, joint. Joint. I think I found solution. Like what? Like uh, visit at gambling room. And I suppose that in the gambling room you're going to win the privilege of looking at this gal's ass, huh? Exactly. about buying me a drink, cowboy? Don't choke on it. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. I bet you throw rocks at babies, too. Oh, you got me wrong. I belong to the Temperance League. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'll buy you a drink, honey. <laughs> Oh, great. You are a nice boy. Champagne, Jack. Come on now, honey. Don't get so upset. We must do something about my sister. She can't help her wild nature. What's that? Well, I'm good and sick of her and the way she acts towards the clients who come into my saloon. Come on, dear. Cheer up. Come in. What is it? Boss, there's a guy downstairs. He's breaking the bank. Red, even. Number 12. Ah! Red, even. Pay, 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 pay! <laughs> What's next? Number 6. Sure? Yes, the mathematic is exact science. Need calculate. Six. There's no problem. It is easy. If weigh up all consideration, such as light, heat, cold, humidity, and a variation such as brake pedal, and even magnet. Also, friction or axle on wheel is so simple. Simple? Oh, yes. Number six. Black. <laughs> pay! 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 Step aside. <laughs> What's up here? What's up? Hey, if you're the owner of this joint, you better go find yourself another job. That's what's up. <laughs> Very funny. Okay, hey, what's next? That ain't legal. Weapons and other instruments are not allowed in here. Hey, what's the matter with that? Well... Let me see if you can do the same without it. Let's see what you and I can. Uh, no, Dakota. Number is...
your bets, everyone. Number three. Three's the number! No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a private game. Next time, put the works on. All right, brother, spin that wheel. Let's see what happens. Number th th three! Yeah! All <laughs> <laughs> right, there, clean down. Where's the money? Come on! Gentlemen, maybe it's better if you come to my office and there we can talk more calmly. Well, let's go. Hey, Dakota! Yeah? The bottle! I need that. <laughs> well, I bet this is better than what you sell downstairs. Deduct it from what you owe us. Hmm? Excuse us, darling. We must talk business. No, no. Stay, Mrs. Thank you. Well, I guess it's yeah. useless to tell you that I can't pay you. Well, then don't tell us. Pay us. But it's more than $100,000. Yeah. Where the hell am I going to get that kind of money? We won't know all that money, Mr. Paradine. Now, just a minute. He doesn't speak English very well. I repeat, I know what money. You out of your head. Why don't you sit down? Yeah, uh, I think... I can give you my yeah. land in Idaho. No land. What's the matter with the money? Yeah, I don't understand. Let's get to the bottom of all this. Yes, I want bottom. Bottom? What? Bottom, ass. I desire see ass of your wife. Ah! <gasps> Did you... You are joking, I hope. Oh, never joke. Uh, but why... Why is it so important? It's just a bottom like all the others. Oh. Well, so that's what you think of me, like all the others, huh? It's just a manner of speaking, honey. Now, keep your hair on. <laughs> My hair is perfectly on, thank you, but you make me mad as hell. Now, don't be that way. I merely want to get to the point. Is that so? Well, the point is still my ass. <gasps> Let go of Ow. me, you ungrateful brute! All right! You want to see her ass? Look at it! And don't tell me it's not worth a fortune! Very well. <laughs> but there's no writing. What did you expect, the New York Times? Excuse me, but your wife, no live one time with Mr. Wang, rich Chinese gentleman from Monterey? Ah, you've got the wrong woman. You're looking for her twin sister. You'll find her downstairs. She has the autographed ass. Come, Dakota. We see twin bottom. <laughs> Hundred thousand dollars, huh? I've seen a lot that cost less, but I gotta admit that's a pretty good one. Darling. Huh. Well, after all, he only looked at it. I know. A little champagne, my sweet. Andres. At least take your heart off. Hmm? <laughs> I knew you were timid, but not to this point. Well, look what's here. Ah, no. What's gotten into you, cowboy? 
Let me guess. We just came to buy you a drink. Ten dollars enough? Or should it be a hundred thousand? Sure, it's enough. What's he doing here? Now, uh, don't get offended. But he just wants to see your uh, ass. Offended? <laughs> Why? It's about time the Americans started to uh, appreciate this uh, national monument of mine. Ever seen anything like it? Hmm? Original, isn't it? Yes, but it resembles guest book at Peking Palace. <laughs> Hey, that belongs to Wayne. This is his nephew. Asses are a family fetish. Okay, now let's go. Hey, you mean you paid ten dollars just for that? That's right, baby. You might at least give me your autograph, huh? Where are you going? You too, cowboy. Huh? Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Step up and put down your money. Place your bets. Have faith in Lady Luck. Have faith in the Lord, Zachariah saith. He also saith that Tyre built a rampart and heaped up silver like dust. Zachariah. Nine three. Nine three? Too bad. Blackjack. You lost ten dollars, Zachariah. Just a minute. You can't go away without paying. The fruit of fatigue at the game of chance. Zachariah. Fourteen fifty. Don't try to, to get wise with me, you hear? Hey, Deacon! How did you get in here? What's the meaning of this? What do you want? Oh, that. The woman you're looking for is her twin sister. It's not my wife. <laughs> Maybe you drank one too many. Drinking doesn't give you a lump on the head. Someone hit me. Oh, that's just your imagination. Mm -hmm. Who'd want to eat a nice boy like you? Me, for yeah. instance. You see? Oh, oh, I told you. Raisin woman, I want to see the tattooing of your Chinese lover. Where is it? On the moon, and it costs to see it, darling. It's five dollars and 20% discount for groups. Ah! Lord Barkley. Yes, he very rich, have own train, so no can be bought. How the hell are you gonna do it this time? Better not use violence, so, with good manners. Oh, good manners, sure, sure. We'll just go up to him and say, uh, Pardon my lord, but would you, by chance, be contrary to the request of my having a glance at your wife's sauce? Absolutely nothing contrary, old chap. I imagine it's necessary. Even if it's a funny way of expressing it. Come aboard, will you? Come aboard. I 
I say it there, weren't you at Eden in 75? No, Sing Sing, same year. Oh, a new public school, I imagine. Uh, come in, come in, won't you? Come in, come in. I believe in traveling modestly. I can see that. Scotch, yes? A yeah, good idea. Have you been practicing long? Yeah. Well, since I was a kid, I've been rather uh, fast with my hands. Well, I suppose you surgeons have to be, don't you? Rather messy, though, I should think, eh? <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I've got it. You were in the Royal Enclosure at Asker two years ago with the Prince of Wales. I never forget a face, you know. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I knew I was right. Uh, now, to return to my wife, would you like to see her immediately? As long as you don't mind. Why should I? Ah, oh, Jeeves, let her ladyship know that the doctor has arrived, would you, and tell her he's an intimate with the Prince of Wales. How? Oh. Thank you, Jeeves. How? <laughs> yes. He claims that Americans are really rebels, and that Indian is the one and only official language of the United States. <laughs> Shall we go in? No, oh, just a minute. He's the, uh... Me, Doctor. Oh. I didn't know the Prince of Wales had a Chinese physician. Ah. But then, His Highness is really quite unique. <laughs> Not coming? What for? Okay. My dearest, here's the dog. Oh, come in, come in. <laughs> Jeeves told you the doctor's here, didn't he? My lady. My wife suffers terribly from acute form of sciatica. <gasps> but you'll soon be well now, my darling. But you told me the doctor was an old man and had a white beard. <laughs> you can never be sure of anything in the field of medicine, you know, my dearest. You may examine her, Doctor. Tongue, please. I cure you with all the science known to man, acupuncture. Human body contain many pain center. When liquid of life not flow normal, pain build up like water in dam. I never felt better. They must be painless needles. How's the sciatica? It's completely gone. Or oh, maybe it's still there, but I can't feel it. Ah, oh, you were magnificent, Doctor. Doctor, what do I owe you? You can ask what you like. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Joy of curing sick body. Make physician richer than prince. You say you're richer than the Prince of Wales, old chap? Well, I'd say your profession is rather profitable, my friend. My lady? The wisdom of these. <sighs>
What are you doing with that revolver? Are you mad? Lionel! 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 Calm down and nothing will happen to you. Let me go! Oh. You too? Those two sinners got here first, as usual. Let's go look for them. We must get to the Chinese girl before them and take her with us. She's the only one who can translate these markings. We'll get Calico's band to help us. Are you all right? No, you're hurt. Oh, mere blow on the head. Nothing can really hurt the skull of a true English gentleman, you know. As for that special bottom of yours, it's time we set a definite day for visitors, dear. Ah? Uh? Yes, you know, like my castle in England. You know, I spent 15 days in this town once, after a $2,000 job, and spent it all right here. Say ho. Why don't you ride on ahead? I've got some business to attend to. Business? Yeah, let's say I've got an uncle too and he left a message for me. I think it's auntie. See you later. Chinese doing around here. Well, you know, I think he's out doing right now what I've got in mind to do. <laughs> it's great comfort and joy to hear talk of our homeland again. You plan to be here for a long time yet? Not if I do quick what I came for. Yes, you said you are on the mission here. Liu Hua knows this town, and she can help you if you like. Yes, but I... If I can be of service in any way, oh, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you, Liu Hua. You are most kind. I think I will need much assistance from you. I will do anything you ask. Please, no talk more of this now. It's very comfortable here. I feel I found a home with you far away from home. Think of this house as your home. Tell me, young man, is there anything you have seen in America that you like? No. I mean, I don't know. You see, when one working, what one see not same. I would like to show you a lot of interesting things. Like the sunset behind the mountain, or the wind blowing across the prairie. There are many beautiful things to see here. Yeah. I happily have you as a guide when I finish my work. 
now I must go. Thank you for hospitality of your house, and especially thanks to you, Liahua. I will show you out. Hope to see you tomorrow. You see, it's very important. I... Good. I, too, hope to see you. Because I know it. Uh, you see the fourth ass of the series. What's the matter? The little lady refused? I know I asked. You didn't ask her? What's the matter? You're not interested in your uncle's treasure anymore? I interested, yes, interested. Not easy to ask so soon. You see, they invited me to dinner. <laughs> they. <laughs> <you know. laughs> Kill 
Leopold. They've taken her. Help her. Who was it? Who? Calico and his band. They make their hideout in all the abandoned mission house. Don't worry. We save her. Take her to China with you. Take a girl. Watch her. You, Calico. Yeah? Place your men among the rocks so they can protect the mission. Right, Egon. You there! Get down with the rocks! Pedro! Pablo! Go with him! You two keep a lookout. You up on the rocks. mission. Take it. What the hell's this? Your pay. We're going to split here. You gone mad? No, no, no. This very, very dangerous. Already one innocent man die. I go alone. I fight for honor of my family. You risk die for nothing. Now that's a very pretty speech, but I'm not letting you go in there alone. Dakota, I said no, and no change mind. Now you listen to me, you hardhead. I might be a thief. I might have spent more time in jail than a retired prison guard, but nobody can accuse me of running out on a friend. Now you don't want me to go with you? I don't give a damn, but you can't stop me from doing what I want. <laughs> Wait a moment. If you know what money, what do you want? Watch me. Amigo. I'm looking for a man by the name of Hope. Am I on the right road? See. Si. Not only are you on the right road, but you arrive at your destination. You didn't see me last night, Gringo, but I saw you, and I recognize you. Here! You have killed many of my men. Now you're gonna pay.
<laughs> Where is your friend? He's out recruiting men. Your people are doomed to destruction and purgatory. Psalms, I think. Psalm of Asaph, 8.3, which concludes, let them be confused and overtaken forever and shameless in perdition. In other words, go to hell. Untie him and put him in the stable. It'll be a pleasure. Freshen up your memory. <laughs> Get in there. Go see to the horses. Waiting for him for three days, and what did you do? You had to shoot him. Ah, coffee at last. Dakota, son of lady who passed favor for profit. Say, son of a bitch is quicker. Quick. Amigo. I'm looking for a man by the name of Hobbit. Am I on the right road?
damn it. I was just getting warmed up. You better keep that, you might need it. No. I no like weapon. All right. To each his own. There must be some way of getting those Mexicans out in the open. Why don't you... Get up onto the roof. Try to get behind the chapel. But don't do anything till I get started. How I know when that is? <laughs> don't worry. You'll hear it. This is my baby. Has she talked? No. Is that so? Mm. So she hasn't learned to read yet. You listen to me! I want you to translate those peculiar messages, or I'll have you killed! But... I don't read Chinese. <laughs> I've never been to China. I was born here in America. Let's make her dance. Like a bear in the circus. You have a very good idea. Put the fire under the cage. Maybe with that, you will loosen your tongue. You can change your mind. what Wang has written, and I will set you free. Speak. I don't know anything. If you won't do it, the young Chinese will when we capture him. Too much the key, uh, pick him up. Uh, that young uh, Chinese will be tortured to death if you don't speak first. You wouldn't like that now, would you? Speak! What's that writing mean? But I'm not drunk. What's the matter with having a little tequila?
didn't try that. over. It is written that the only true victory is in attaining the kingdom of heaven. No! Leave him to me. No. Ah. Uh. the gold. Where is the fortune your Uncle Wang took from me? And why have you returned without it? My lord, Wang had nothing for us. There was no fortune. You are a liar and your time has come. Ching! You are a vile traitor and also a thief. Cut off his head! Trust in your great sense of justice when you know Wang did send fortune to you here, sire. It concealed in statue. Ah!
it. It's locked. Huh? Ah! You got here just in time. I always show up on time, my friend. Except when you find safe is empty. What are these? They are shares in important American companies. You are ten times richer than you were, thanks to wisdom of my uncle. And what can I do for you? Let us go, warlord. My friend want to see China, and that takes time. Who oh, tells me it's a little bit bigger than the United States? I'd kind of like to see it for myself. I might like it. Let them go. Father. What are you waiting for? Oh, come on. Come on, I thought you two were gonna show me China.